Well, for more on Yon Wing Ming tackling environmental issues, I caught up with Jade Hermeister at the annual event of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT Salt. Now, Jade is the youngest person in history to ski to the North Pole from anywhere outside the last degree. She's also the youngest person to ski from the coast of Antarctica to the South Pole, unsupported and unassisted. I asked her how her historic expeditions shaped her views on climate change. After the North Pole expedition, when we had two weeks of delays at the start because the sea ice kept melting, which we needed to land a plane on to actually start our expedition. Um, so that was kind of when I first like encountered climate change firsthand and it kind of opened my eyes to climate change and um, like it, it sticks really close to me now and I think like to be able to bring those stories and those messages back home and especially to share them with my generation is really important to me now. So Jade, a lot of people are wondering, you completed this polar hat trick so young by the age of 16. Oh, I mean, I can't even imagine what the rest of us were doing at 16 while you were busy going about this. First, tell us about some of the challenges that you faced before versus after making this, this polar pilgrimage, if you will. Uh, well, I think because I decided it was something that I wanted to do at the age of 13, it didn't really cross my mind, like the challenges that I would face later on, and I kind of just jumped straight into it. Um, but I didn't know how to ski when I first started, so that was sort of the first challenge, um, learning how to ski, and then the first expedition, which was North Pole, and then the expeditions got harder as the journey progressed. And so for, for a young person who's wondering how, at such a young age, you were able to get into that, tell us a bit about your journey of how, of how you got to that point. Uh, well, I was born into a very adventurous family. Like, my dad spent probably a decade climbing mountains, including Everest, so I think it's kind of part of our DNA. Um, like, we've done heaps of adventures as a family, so it definitely helped when I decided that I wanted to do my own adventure, having a dad who sort of knew what he was doing. And, and I understand um, that you had some experience with, with bullying, especially on social media. Tell us more about that. I think, like, most of the feedback or, like, the comments that I received about my trips were positive, um, which was really nice. But I did receive some comments on um, the TEDx talk that I did when I was 15. Um, and the focus of that talk was inspiring young women to focus on what they can do, not how they appear. And I received a few comments from middle-aged men telling me to get back in the kitchen and make them a sandwich. And that was kind of my first experience with like, online trolls and um, wow. yeah I like as a 15 year old girl I kind of like laughed um, but I think there is there is sort of a message to be taken away from those comments. And, and I hear you didn't you didn't let them off the hook with these comments <laughs> uh, tell us a bit about about your reaction to it. Um, well it was definitely an ongoing joke that we had on the final expedition the South Pole to actually make a sandwich um, once, once we got to the pole and sort of respond back to the trolls with this sandwich. Um, so it started off as a joke, but then it kind of, like it kind of went viral. <laughs> um, it got legs and um, I think people sort of grasped onto that, which was special. And in terms of getting your voices heard, you mentioned your, your TED talk and the importance of girls really embracing their ambitions and not focusing on, on what society has for a long time told us to focus on. Tell us why that was important to you. Uh, well, like as a young girl taking on something like this, it was definitely like a journey that I couldn't focus on how I appeared um, and like it wasn't at all glamorous. So for me, um, in these like situations and these sort of like tough environments, I couldn't focus on how I appeared and it was a much better way to be and I really enjoyed like myself more in those situations. And how do you see that, that sort of encouragement of sort of just being comfortable in your own skin, regardless of, of what everyone else is telling you to be, and turning that into real sort of activism about the things that really matter to young people? R having role models will be like a very important, will play a very important role in inspiring people to focus on like the possibilities of themselves and not their appearance. Um, like I think when we see other people doing cool things it's a lot 
better and a lot more inspiring than seeing like a mirror selfie or something like that on Instagram. I think seeing people actually doing something inspires you to make change and do something yourself. And obviously you've already had a full plate at, at, at such a young age. What about your future plans and sort of projects that are in the works that you'd like to get out there? If I can keep exploring um, and sharing stories with people, that would be awesome. But I'm also really interested in um, like business and entrepreneurship. And I think if I was to head down that path, it would, it would have to do with like sustainability and climate change.